The Uppa Baby Minu V2 is a classy high-end stroller with some quirks. I like Uppa Baby, but didn't really want to pay this price. One strong point is the folding and unfolding. It goes down in just three seconds and unfolds in four. It has a nice carry strap too. It's not the best travel stroller because of its folded size and weight, but it is fine for everyday use. The stroller has a decent sized storage basket that can be accessed from the front and the back with a capacity of 20 pounds. There's also a handy pocket for small items. The handlebar is comfortable and about 40 inches high. I like the easy brake pedals, red for stop, green for go. The buckle works well and the harnesses adjust easily. There are no cup holders for kids or for parents. The peekaboo window with the magnetic latch is a nice touch. The menu took longer to set up than most strollers, but it was still less than 10 minutes. The menu is easy to steer and turn on typical flat surfaces. It does fine on the grass too, but it's not really made for gravel or rough terrain. It had a bumpier ride than most strollers when we tested with an accelerometer, and it was in the middle of the pack when we measured its noise level. The seats are nicely padded. It sits at a nice upright angle and has a decent amount of recline. The recline mechanism works fine, but isn't the best that we've seen. The seat pivots in the middle, and some kids find that uncomfortable because it leans forward when they do. It's rated for children up to 50 pounds and 40 inches in height. The seat back is 18 inches, which isn't really high enough for taller kids. The sunshade extends pretty far and provides good sun coverage, but it tends to close partially when you hit a bump. The menu performed well on our tip over and pinch point testing. Overall, the Minu V2 is a decent stroller, but you can do better for the price. If you like this, please like and subscribe.